Welcome to Project Pitch It, a program about Wisconsin jobs. Next, three local entrepreneurs will pitch their ideas to local moguls. They will compete for over $30,000 in cash and awards to take their Wisconsin business to the next level. Who are the moguls? They are local business people with highly successful careers and companies. Now, they're turning their talents to help today's new job creators. Jim Lindenberg is the past owner of World Class Wire and Cable Inc. and the Milwaukee Wave. He is passionate about creating new business in Greater Milwaukee. Mark Burrish is a founder of Bright Star, a foundation dedicated to creating jobs and keeping our best and brightest in Wisconsin. Jerry Genduza is the founder and CEO of a multi-million dollar aerospace company and is dedicated to revolutionizing the local business and investment world. Peter Fagan is the president of the Milwaukee Bucks and will oversee the team's world-class sports and entertainment district. He feels the sky's the limit in Milwaukee. This is Project Pitch It. Hello. 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 Hey. I'm Angela. These are my backup dancers, Queen and Stevie, and we are That Salsa Lady. We are the only black and woman-owned salsa company in the country. We have gourmet salsa, we have gourmet chips, we have a farm, it's a micro farm, right in the middle of the hood, it's called That Hood Ranch. <laughs> it's a ranch in the hood. What we do at the That Hood Ranch is we grow unique items for various small businesses. But what we're pitching to you today is our incubator kitchen. What we think it is, is the food version of the Global Water Center. There are five aspects to that. There's one large incubator kitchen, and there are four satellites strategically placed throughout the city of Milwaukee. Within the incubator, you can start, grow, and sustain your business. If you already have an existing business, you can actually have an extra satellite location. What we found is when we were coming up, we had no resources. Right now, we're in shared kitchens. Somebody has a restaurant, we pay to be there. We're, we need a home, and there are other entrepreneurs like us. The incubator project is simple. We bring in entrepreneurs, they grow their business, they create jobs, then once they've stabilized, they can move into their own location, leaving some of their product behind, so they have two locations immediately. How, how does that work, you working in another restaurant's kitchen? I, I think I can see the timing issues, I can see insurance issues. The insurance issues actually are, not, are quite uh, fine. They start at maybe two o'clock in the afternoon, we can use a kitchen from 10 to, to one o'clock. Is that enough? Is that enough for you, Peter? <laughs> no, you guys keep on asking the questions. Yeah. The great I'll thing about some, I'll have some food. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Mark. The keep diving is, into it. <laughs> the great thing about the incubator, and what Peter mm. is tasting, is our original tortilla chip made with olive oil and sea mm. salt, yeah. very yeah. healthy, and our urban garden salsa, mm. which is grown at our hood ranch. It looks really good. Those peppers and things like that are used for what we call death wish. None of our salsa is hot, but if you like us hot. We, and you want a death wish, we got it for you. Angela, question. Mm -hmm. So in the incubator, with the thought of other companies coming in, mm -hmm. is it related just to this product or any product? Is it Absolutely related? Absolutely not. It is, it just is. Just food though? Is no, it the, no, no. The great thing about the incubator is the incubator is not just a commercial kitchen. It's actually an artisan incubator. So you're not talking to us today about the salsa lady or it's the salsa lady that's helping with the incubator program. Yes, basically we'll be there to, uh, to manage and that'll be our home base. But okay. we also have an af affordable spot for up to 10 other entrepreneurs to have their product and to work. And any product. No exactly. No other salsa makers though. Sure, why not? So tell, tell I us, wouldn't have any other salsa Tell us about the other green. Saying. Tell us about the money <laughs> that, that the investment. Yeah, how much do you need for the what, kitchen? What, what makes this happen and where are you currently today? You always go back to the business case, don't you? I apologize. Well, food and money. Yeah. It doesn't seem like right. a bad Just go bad back thing. to eating, Peter. Will. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the incubator is pricey, which is why we need you know a viable partner or four. So basically what happens is, if you're a developer and you're building a project, you can actually build that into your basis. So it drives down those lease rates. Right now what um, entrepreneurs are doing is they're paying to just uh, lease their space. What we need them to do is pay less so they actually can pay to grow and add jobs, lots of jobs. What's the initial cost? The initial cost is probably about fifty to $75,000. And, and what that is is getting the equipment, getting the lease, but if we have a viable partner, that cost comes down. Because you have volume, the thing is, is we're more about them making money and us and us kitchen sustaining itself. 
from the attorneys that will volunteer to help them with their books, from the insurance people that will help them with their insurance, from the uh, city that comes in and talks to their licensing. We want that all in one spot. A Angela, I can tell you that those are some of the best chips and salsa. Yeah, it tastes great. They are really, really, really good. good. And Mark yeah. never eats any of the food, so he, he really does like it. That's because yeah. none's left. <laughs> yes. He's really not nice. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> good job, guys. All Thank right. you so much. I right, appreciate it. Have a All good right. one. Hey, give us our tray back, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I got that one more. That's Elizabeth. really good. Oh, the sauce is great. Next, this entrepreneur hopes to turn online gamification into big bucks. And later, these drums are making a lot of noise by being quiet. Entrepreneurism is absolutely vital to a successful and a thriving economy. We need more entrepreneurs to start and to grow successful businesses in our community and to create jobs here so that this great city on the Great Lake can be all that it truly can be. Cardinal Stretch University is known by employers, parents, and students as a place where graduates create their success. We've inspired more than 34,000 people to find and live out their mission. Now it's your turn to find out what it takes to change the world. Find out why earning a degree from Cardinal Stritch University will change your life. Welcome. How can I help? Andrew Stewart, I'm the CEO of Hitlist, and I'm here to talk to you about Hitlist. Hitlist is a web application that uses games and prize giveaways to collect very valuable data from a large group of online users. And the reason why we need applications like the Hitlist is because the traditional forms of advertising or collecting data online are becoming less effective. These are things like banner ads and pop up ads, and they're becoming less effective because we're not clicking on them anymore. We're becoming desensitized to the barrage of advertising online. It's becoming so bad that Google and Yahoo have lost six and 10% of their core display ad revenue in each of the last three years. So Hitlist is a better way to engage with an online audience. Now the Hitlist widget, as you can see, operates within an existing website or on a standalone page where users will go and try to play for a particular prize. And in the course of gameplay, they're required to answer one or two or even three questions. And in this way, we compensate the user for their engagement while also collecting very valuable data, actionable data that can be turned into revenue. What's an example of some of the data? An example of some of the data is we work with the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps may want to find out those users outside who are thinking about, who are only thinking about Armed Forces Services, Marine Corps Services. So we're able to find needles in a haystack. Those individuals who are very valuable to a particular you know, group or organization but are hard to find. So if you can find, use a tool that takes a large audience narrows it down to a needle on a haystack, you can generate a lot of revenue in this way. So why do people go on the Hitlist website in the first place? Well, because the Hitlist gives away, in a very exciting way, lots of prizes every day, typically every single hour. And it's not that they go to the Hitlist website, they'll go to an existing website where a Hitlist game module is placed within the website. And in the course of reading a news article, they'll also interact with the game module and play and try to win a particular prize. So you take a website that has high traffic, you put the module on there, you can siphon off a lot of them to interact and you can ask them questions. Tell us about the economic model. Tell us the, the compensation, the, the cost of conversion. You know, what, what's the real meat and potatoes like behind that? Surprised the... you asked that question. <laughs> yes. Well, I made a food analogy to it, so it made some sense. Well, let's stay with the Marine Corps uh, example. The Marine Corps was spending $250,000 to find one officer candidate. By using the hit list, we took that down to $5,000. So their acquisition cost went down to $5,000. Now, we make our money by charging a small monthly licensing fee plus 
a percentage of the revenue that is generated from leads. What are you actually doing? Is, is somebody playing a game to win money and then you're getting a lead off of that or? Yes, exactly. So you take 10,000 people and they're playing to win a car and those 10,000 people are racing against each other to land on a winning number and in the course of gameplay they're required to answer a question. Now from those questions you're able to gather uh, valuable information. You take that information of people who have self-selected that they are interested in something. You never sell their information but people who have indicated that they're interested and you take those leads and you sell that to an interested party. Those how long is each game? How long does it take to play Good question. each game? A prize will typically go off every 30 minutes or every hour, depending on the traffic flow. What makes Hitlist special? How are you differentiated from the rest of the world of gamification? Yeah, that's a really good question. The average time on site, meaning the average time that a person spends interacting with the Hitlist module is over 45 minutes in a given day. To put that in perspective, the average Facebook user spends 27 minutes a day on Facebook. So you have what we call stickiness, is somebody who is engaging at a very high level. And then furthermore, 99% 90, uh, of the information we get is, is true, meaning it's pure, accurate information. What are your revenues? And tell us how the revenues come in. Yeah, really good question. So during our beta period, and in the last seven months, when we've really been licensing our product in earnest, we've collected over $350,000. 350,000 of revenue in the past seven months? Seven months, months. And, I would, and then we had like a five month beta test. Who are your well. customers? In the last two weeks, three of the 500 largest websites reached out to us unsolicited and said, we'd like to use your platform. So we're growing very quickly. Okay, okay. Thank, you so thank, you thank you very much. Thank you, sounds like fun. How do you think you did? I feel really good about it. I do, I feel really good about it. Okay, so all that confidence came through. Oh, I think so. All right, well, congratulations and much luck to you. Thank you so much. All right. Next, will these drums be a game changer? This entrepreneur thinks so. Entrepreneurialism is at the heart of economic growth here in Wisconsin. And I applaud Project Pitch It for all their efforts in highlighting entrepreneurs here in Wisconsin that bring creativity and new business to our state because it benefits all of us. I'm Darian Driver, proud superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools. We have an exciting new culinary arts and restaurant management program. Please consider volunteering as a chef mentor in our classrooms or providing support for our planned kitchen upgrades. Milwaukee Business Journal. We help business and community leaders. Build their businesses. Advance their careers. And simplify their professional lives. Milwaukee Business Journal delivers the information you need. Education on how to grow your career. And events where it's simple to meet new people. And make business connections. The Marka Center is proud to have been Wisconsin's premier arts destination for nearly 50 years and committed to connecting our community to the arts for the next 50 years. World-class performances, memorable experiences. Come, find your connection. At Cardinal Stritch University, we know that not all graduate schools are the same. In our classrooms, you'll find trendsetters in business, healthcare, and education. Find out how our graduate students at Stritch get a jump start on finding success. Schedule your visit for one of our upcoming events. Hi, I'm Michael Bean, co-inventor with me, Abigail Bean, and we're AE Drums. Hello. Hello, good to see you. Uh, we're here today to talk a little bit about one of my past passions. I grew up playing on, not a drum set actually, I played on anything I can get my hands on. I used anything I could as drumsticks. It became a little disturbing to friends and neighbors. So we started coming up with our own solution. We made a set that's portable, takes very little space, but we still had a big problem, noise. Drums are outright loud. So we came up with what I have here as a display so we can kind of... Okay. The, uh, the setup we have here, actually people think that's a little bit too loud. So when we started working an idea, came up with a solution, something a little quieter. It's easy to lug around. I can get this whole thing in my little tiny car, but now, simply by flipping the drum over, we're putting both sides to use. One side you heard, it's loud, we can get out there, we can play live. We take the other side, if you would demonstrate please. So now we got a setup that you could take to a hotel, 
practice, go to your gig, perform live, live in an apartment, neighbors won't even know you have it. You guys wanna try it out? Mark's really a good Yeah, we have one guy who's who's very artistic. He's very good yeah. karaoke. My, my, my former rock banger. star status? Yeah. yeah. Were you in Quiet Riot, Mark? Yeah. Buddy it's, Rich and I were like back. Oh. back. His right. mullet his mullet's way carved down, but this was this was a crazy guy. I I usually have like a do ray when I Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're set up left handed, right, so let me throw it. you yeah, off. I think you gotta do it, Mark. Have you shown this to uh, any music stores? Any? We haven't taken it to music stores. We did do the Chicago drum show. We we got received really well. All right, so this is. Is this the only product on the market? Right hey, now, hey, hey, aren't you listening? <laughs> right now, there's nothing in the market like this where you get one instrument that presents a loud volume and a soft volume simply by the orientation. D don't they have these with your with uh, headphones that you can play? They have electronic drums and with electronic drums you need a module, you need a brain, you need speakers. What, what do you, you think the cost the cost point of this is going to um, be at retail? We're going to start as a student product with just a snare drum. It's going to list for about $550. Uh, as the set gets popular, we're going to expand it and we'll probably offer anywhere between how many pieces are desired. You're looking at about 2,000 to 3,000. Advantage to this is it's not just a product. You can get instructors, you can get students. Can we hear Mark again? Sure. Yeah, I, I'll stick around and do a little for you if you want later. I don't know if we want that. I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, want I don't that. Think, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> we want that. Yeah. It's nice, but I'll, I'll no. send you one of my albums from <laughs> the old days. And here's, if I may, one of the things I love about this Please. is electronic drums, you can't do this. You can't. If you sat and did that with electronic drums, you put holes in it. We actually damaged it on purpose to oh, show people. I thought people, that was me. Nope, we did this to show people that even though there's a hole in it, it's still gonna function, it still operates. You do this on most drums, you put a tear or a rip in it, you're out. You don't have a backup, you're not using that instrument. Great idea, what do you need from us? Well, the first thing is I need exposure. I need the world to see it, to know that we are here, that we're coming, and that we need people to push it to get it into the reseller market. So for us, it's just getting that confidence into the market that people say, yeah, we'll get this, we'll carry it. Why the name AE? What's that? AE mean? is Abigail Eileen, my daughter. Uh, we started this project four years ago as a team. Went to my daughter and said, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? She questioned everything. She's that's like, awesome. <laughs> I want to see proof. I don't care. I showed her mathematic models. I show her ideas. I explain why. She goes, okay, where's the prototype? That's we great. actually made this technology the way it looks because she said, prove it. That's fantastic. Keep, push Perfect. Keep yeah. pushing them, Abigail. Yes. Good teamwork. Good job. Thank, Thank you, you very guys. much. Thanks Thank very you much. very much. I think it's a great product. And I know you were kind of wooed by the way I was playing, but I think the product itself is really good. I, 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 I think it's a neat niche. I like everything about it. I like the father-daughter. I yeah. like the... Hopefully it's I, real I good, strong. I can't imagine a drum instructor who wouldn't want that. Yeah. Right. He's got to get going. Or a though. parent who wouldn't want to yeah, give that to their kids. Yeah. It's like a win. Hey there. How did it go? We had a blast. I, uh, I don't know if we're going to get our stuff back there. We're enjoying it a oh, little no, bit. Oh, no. They might keep it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good sign. Yes. So congratulations and good luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. Coming up, the moguls break down the pitches. At On Milwaukee, we're honored to be a part of the entrepreneurial and media and innovation spirit that this state has. So my hat is off to the people at Project Pitch It because it's provided another avenue to tell the wonderful stories of all the great people that get out of bed every morning and say, all right, I am going to make the entrepreneurial spirit bigger, bolder, and brighter in the state of Wisconsin. What can you count on? There's that friend who always calls at the right time, that special set of wheels always ready to roll. Here's something else you can count on, electricity. Just flip a switch and your life powers up. At American Transmission Company, we help make sure electricity is there when you need it. That's what we do. Deliver economical, reliable power for your everyday life. American Transmission Company, helping to keep the lights on, businesses running, and communities strong. Fun and leisure reflect today's entrepreneurs. Food, technology, and music. Let's see what our moguls have to say about today's entrepreneurs. Jerry, why don't you get us started? All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of banter on this one because the salsa lady 
She's got a wonderful product. We all agree, like we're kind of almost a little confused on to well, she's, what the steps Because were. we loved her product and you ate so much of it that you weren't even listening. But, but if we thanks loved again, it, Mark. You and others that. love it, and how do we bring it to market? And then Andrew from the hit list. But let me go, no, okay. I want to go back to Angela though. But I think she's focused on her kitchen and she wants to get a kitchen started. She wants to get a kitchen started in the inner city. I think that's noble and I think she can do it for not a lot of money. I'd like to but see her get the 10,000. But she should do it through 000. her business and then if she wants to be generous Focus. and lease, she needs to focus on her great product. But we can be generous too. We she can. Needs direction. But we can help her more. We can be generous by helping her more to gain focus. And then Andrew from Hit List, so gamification. He's got $350,000 of revenue. You know, I think we're all a little su surprised. A little surprised at that. A little surprised at that. I think it's ultra competitive. Um, I don't know, what do you think, Jim? Yeah, good idea, uh, good idea. It's been successful with and other people. And then lastly, people. Michael from AE Drums. Well, and he needs so direction cool. too, though. He needs direction too. He needs money and he needs direction. He I needs think guidance. he's got his direction. I think he knows exactly where he wants to go. I mean, it's a, it's a relatively narrow market. It's Very niche. instructors and, and users. I'm a big fan of the father-daughter team. Yeah, I've that's got to tell you, It's very nice, it's very nice. It's a good And vote. manufactured, made right here in Milwaukee. Yep. This is going to be a really tough decision. Yeah. yeah. All right. Gets what? Coming up, the Moguls award over $30,000 in cash and prizes. Hi, I'm Omar Sheck of Surge Restaurant Group, and I can tell you as an entrepreneur that entrepreneurism is the path to jobs, economic growth, and community strength and vitality. So join me in Project Pitch It to inspire local entrepreneurs to make our local marketplace and this community better. Hit list, gamification, these are things that I'm totally unfamiliar with. Seems like it has legs, a little bit confusing, leads, gaming all at the same time, but interesting. Father-daughter combo, you only need $10,000, CapEx to get started. We kind of deliberated over that. Angela, loved your salsa. Now you've got these other things that you're doing, other initiatives. With that in mind, tough, tough choices. Andrew, we think you would be the perfect candidate for Bright Star. Bright Star is a charitable foundation that has invested millions of dollars in over 20 different businesses over the last three years. You're in an area that has a lot of competition, but you have a niche that can grow and I think could use the advice of our investment committee to help you grow and help you find better markets and even focus uh, better on it. So our investment committee is going to meet with you and the other cool part is we're going to meet with you at Rare Restaurant. Great. One of the best steakhouses in Milwaukee, and we're going to have a great time, and after that, continue hopefully that conversation with you. Fantastic. Thank you. Michael and Angela couldn't be two further apart businesses in the history of the world, but <laughs> we, we actually thought we'd attack this in a, in a similar way because we think your needs are, are very similar. What, what we want to do is I'll, I'll give you the easy part of it. We're going to give each of you $5,000 in cash to be able to, to subsidize and, uh, and pay for some CapEx and your tooling to really start you on your commercial kitchen. And then Jim's gonna take you through the other part of the prize. Yeah, so it's nice we're splitting the cash. Again, we feel you both have similar needs and wants. We're gonna do the same thing with the Stritch Pitch It Award. Um, both of you need some great mentoring from Cardinal Stritch professors who are very good and have helped me with some of my businesses, and you can also use the class, you can use some space over there to help move your businesses forward. So, and we're gonna split that package, $10,000 package, we're gonna split that five and five each, and that's gonna be really wonderful for both of you to work with Cardinal Stretch University. Very good. You all have wonderful businesses. Well, congratulations. Thank very fun. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Congratulations. Good job. If you want to support these entrepreneurs, visit our website for more information about their products and companies. If you have an idea for the next great Wisconsin business, we want to hear from you. Visit projectpitchit.com. <laughs>